Welcome back, this is Johnny J Appleseed and I'd like to introduce you guys to a new game uh, I recently got access to the beta for Galahad 3039 This is a mech based um, a mech based hero shooter game um, You choose the heroes as you can see that I'm going through here right now the different heroes with their primary and uh, active and passive abilities and these are the pilots that uh, will be piloting the, the mechs that you control. And they have a active ability that you can activate on command and a passive ability that's always there. Um, the game is set in a sci-fi shooter with a Arthurian uh, sort of legend. And so the pilots are named after Arthurian characters, so King Arthur, um, Gwyn, Mordred, uh, so on. And um, it's a PvP type game. You go into an arena, there's bases to capture, and it's. Um, reduces your enemy's uh, reinforcement um, tickets but there's also a, a nice little bit of extra um, strategy there in the sense that you get to capture uh, spawn points so you don't always just spawn in the same locations every time um, Capturing spawn points gives you faster access to the battlefield in strategic locations wherever you need to be. No foe, however strong. So just going Demand to the lances now, choosing the the, the hero character I want to play with. To play that is a line. medium mech. This is the one that I, I played with uh, during this particular beta. Uh, I was only able to to play for two hours. Uh, the beta was three hours long, and due to some power issues, I missed the first hour. Um, there's a huge selection of uh, mech skins, color color schemes um, that you can choose from. Very nice, very nice big selection. Um, you also see on the left hand side you have your primary weapons, your secondary weapons, um, your deployables and mods. Um, on the right hand side here um, above where the uh, paint, paint schemes are you'll see there are four tabs for, for the mix. These are used for saving pre-configured loadouts for, for the same mech. So you can have four different um, loadouts for, for each mech that you can switch between very quickly. Equipment is um, set out on a points basis. You got um, a set amount of points that you can spend per mech. Every weapon costs uh, a certain amount of points and um, there's a additional fee if you equip the same weapon left and right the same for your secondary weapons you get two secondary weapons as well so the loadout i'm going with here, over here is um, sort of a, a grenade launcher and a, and a minigun and then for secondary weapons I'm going with a anti uh, like a like a point defense type of um, weapon which will shoot down any incoming projectiles and a automatic uh, gun that targets any enemy uh, near me just loading that out quickly So there we go. The one on the top left is the one that shoots automatically at uh, the enemy and the one on the right 
top right is the one that shoots uh, down any kind of incoming projectiles. The deployables are things like turrets, shields, mines, drones, um, and it's they quiet. you get a, a certain amount of, of them at a time and you can deploy them. There's a slight cooldown between each deploy so you can't actually um, push it uh, too much. Mods come in four tiers. The the white ones are tier one, and um, they also cost points. Obviously, uh, they give you bonuses. Um, you see, I'm going to choose a, a loadout here, which is actually going to cost me quite a lot of points, but it gives me some interesting um, some interesting features here. Just go just as I'm scrolling through different um, different mods that you can see here. So all of them have various sort of uh, bonuses and abilities. So I'll, I I'll, I end up modifying these later on in the game. Um, one very nice feature about the game is every time you die and you come back to the screen to to redeploy, you get the option to change your spec. You can move things around, you can change weapons, you can change mods, you can change um, uh, your secondary weapons, you can change all your, your loadout. Um, if you have pre-configured loadouts, you can switch between the loadouts. To, so that allows you to really modify your, your uh, technical abilities um, as the game is progressing. So if you see that a particular loadout is not really working, then you can switch to another loadout, or you can tweak an existing loadout to actually sort of you know, get some better performance out of your mech. So I'm almost done with the um, loadout here. Base acquired. You see there's Another, another tier of, of um, mods there that's going to cost too much so I can go with very cheap guns with very expensive mods All right, yeah I'm going to load into the game now well, quick mic check and then I'm going to see you then I'm going to load into the game in a moment So there's voice chat for, with your team as well. So I spawned in at a, at a sort of a generic spawn point right now. Mini maps in the top left hand corner. Um, uh, kill board or, or kill notices on the top right. Um, right at the very top of the screen you have the reinforcement tickets for either side and the three bases on the map A, B and C. You'll see the four little pips around each base that's generators i'll come back to that in a moment underneath that are the six spawn locations um, which are currently being held by um, both uh, both sides of the of the game of the both um, teams <laughs> okay right in the middle obviously you're you got your cross here at the top of the little displays on the side of the crosshair, you've got your secondary weapons up at the top. Now you can fire your secondary weapons manually by holding down a modification key like control and then using your left and right uh, buttons for your left secondary and your right secondary weapon. Um, what I'm doing here right now was I was busy repairing a, um, a generator on a base that we owned and the base got flipped so um, I stopped repairing that and that repair feature um, not only repairs generators but it also um, can repair your fellow teammates uh, but you have to be very close to them going back to the HUD obviously right in the in, in the middle of the HUD just below the spawn points you got your compass 
and then on the left hand side you've got your skim jets which is a form of sprint um, that depletes uh, as over time as you use it I'm attacking this mech here you see the little red X that comes up um, in the middle of the uh, crosshair means that I'm, I'm hitting that mech it's confirmation that I'm hitting him the little green line that you saw there now was my automatic uh, cannon that was firing at him, my secondary weapon. Base lost. On the right hand side, that uh, little bar over there is my jump jets. Um, and that allows me to make a massive leap up there. I've just used it right now. Allows me to jump very high, but I don't have a lot of control over the mech when that happens. Right. And that was my first uh, death. I'd love to automated little taunts blood. from the, the mech that killed you. Um, okay, so respawned back into the fight. Um, Underneath the crosshair area, you've got a little box there with three turrets in it. Number three, I chose a deployable of turrets. And um, currently, I can deploy three turrets. Um, underneath that, you'll see there's two icons. One is frame rate because I was recording. And the second one, I think, is ping because I'm in South Africa, so I've got a pretty high ping. Left and right of the outer side of the um, HUD there is my primary weapons, the grenade launcher on the left and the water cannon on the right. Um, they have an ammunition to count and um, they get depleted and they, they auto reload but during that time you obviously can't use the weapon. And underneath the screen at the bottom you've got the blue bar which is the shield your max shield which replenishes automatically over time and then the green bar and that is your max armor once the armor is depleted your mech dies on the right hand side you have uh, your particular pilot or knight's special ability uh, which in my case is uh, storm pulse it's a burst it's an area of effect uh, burst of energy that one so there's quite a wide range of weapons and uh, mods, um, deployables, secondary weapons in the game and really just finding the combination that works for you is uh, um, going to take some time. Um, during the course of the beta I played with the configuration on this medium mech um, a little bit and I uh, actually came across a nice little combination of the dual uh, rocket launchers but I tried out a couple of other weapons in the meantime um, as I mentioned every knight has a different uh, special ability um, my knight's one is the storm pulse um, I just ran away from another one there and that is the um, the, the Arthur's uh, special ability uh, orbital strike from high on the left of the screen you see the little yellow bubble that popped up there that was Gwen's special ability there's another one of Arthur's ones and that's also an area of effect one Gwen's one is a shield that protects you so this game is um, not uh, finished being developed yet, obviously, because it's still in beta. But um, the, they they haven't uh, specified yet what the how the game's going to work uh, specifically with regards to whether it's something that you buy and you play on the servers, or if you. Um, that's going to be free to play Executing. or how that's going to be yet so we don't have any information about that yet um, however the one thing that we do know is that they 
are going to be working on after release to PC they're going to be working on um, uh, um, adding console so multi-platform to the game the desk screen um, I don't know what the XP is, yet, is for yet, but on the um, on the Steam store page, the it does mention that um, collecting mods and weapons. So you might uh, you might need to um, use XP to to unlock those weapons. Uh, we don't know yet. The developer of the game. Uh, Simultronics, Simutronics, apologies. Um, they've been developing the game for over for over a year now. Um, they've actually been going since 1987. Um, with their first game that came out called Gemstone, um, they've produced uh, a few sequels now, up to Gemstone 4. Uh, which is currently running other games that they've made is Dragon Realms, Cyber Strike, Cyber Strike 2. They developed the Hero Engine. They've also uh, produced a number of mobile games called Siege World War II, Siege Titan Wars, Relic Run, One Epic Night, and Tiny Heroes. Um, there's currently no release date. Um, for the game, um, that will still be still be determined. So here's a uh, here's a spawn point that I'm busy capturing. And these are pretty easy to capture. You can capture these with just one mech. It's capturing the bases that you uh, actually need. Um, uh, you need more than one player for. Uh, one of the things about the bases is the generators. The more active generators there are, um, the harder the bases to, to capture, the more mechs you need there to capture. So I'm just checking out um, another weapon here. This is a, a shotgun weapon with a um, an adjustable sort of choke to reduce the spread of the weapon. So this is a base capture point that I've run up to and um, this base is currently neutral, no one's captured it. So I'm going to try and capture this base now, uh, but there is some opposition here. So now you can see the little base icon appears inside the reticle there, and the base uh, is now ours. Immediately you saw four little canisters come up underneath it. That's the four generators, and there's the two mechs that are defending it. Um, those four generators are obviously the four little pips around the, the A symbol. Um, the enemy needs to take that down. Um, in order to make it easier for them to capture the base. Now, the bases do have uh, repair facilities inside them as well. So, uh, your fellow teammates can repair you, you can repair, repair your fellow teammates. And is uh, if you own a base, you can go in there and you can use the repair facility of the base as well. There are also turrets. Uh, once a base is captured, um, the turrets will shoot at the enemy. So there's a generator that we're trying to take down. Generators are, uh, are hardened and uh, it's easier to take them down with explosive uh, rounds than with just normal guns. You can see I'm not doing a huge amount of damage to this unit. So we just captured this base, um, but I didn't quite realize that straight away. Well, we currently have yeah, 
and didn't realize at the, at the time that we had the base. But um, as you can see, the mech's repairing the, the generator there. So I think this is what, uh, I can't remember if this was base A or base B that we were at. I think it was base B. You can see me deploying the turrets. Um, I can deploy the turrets in front of me or behind me. That was one of the things uh, that was um, in the in this beta that wasn't in the previous one. So you can do do you do uh, deployables behind you as well. There's one of the mechs using their jump jets to jump pretty far up. Nice. You see the team scores there, GG. and obviously the MVP. And again the XP. And I said, not entirely sure what the XP is going to be used for. Um, I haven't asked them yet uh, about that. Just uh, moving stuff around here quickly so that I can try a different weapon. I have to get rid of some of those very expensive mods. Try and see if I can get a different gun here. There's the one rocket launcher. And you see the rocket launcher is red uh, because it costs instead of 400, it costs 500. Spawn beacon acquired. Now the match continues while this is going on. Um, I've you know, my, my teammates keep playing um, while I'm busy with this, which is why it's hopefully we're going to get the ability to pre configure these, um, these mega loadouts uh, outside of the game arena. That way we can save them beforehand and go into a match with the, with the saved. Um, versions. Executing deploy sequence. One of the mods I've taken now has increased my magazine capacity. I've now got four turrets instead of three and all my um, ammunition has got more uh, higher capacity so it's an expanded magazine mod. That guy didn't last long. <laughs> so yeah, here I'm trying to capture a base, but you can see that um, there's uh, two generators still active. We got three mechs here. The one generator's just gone down. There's one generator left, and um, even though there's there was two uh, only two mechs, the the one mech was Gwen. Uh, Gwen's um, passive abilities that Gwen counts as two mechs when capturing a base and Gwen has the shield as well so very good for base capture that one nearly fighting over a spawn point it's very nice very fast paced and this actually runs pretty well on my computer. My computer is not my any, <laughs> straight to the word, a, 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 a very good um, system. Um, but even so, I mean, there's not that much, there's not that much um, a lag or, or 
frame rate issues that are, that, that I can see. He's hitting the generator there with the rockets much faster. Again, trying to capture, but there's too many active generators. I'm getting hit by a getting hit by an Arthur's orbital strike. If you rise against okay. King. so this is where I decide that I want to try. Uh, two Hellfire missiles or a Kimbo uh, loadout. But I, I'm short, I'm short some points. So I'm going to have to modify the, um, the loadout again, the mods, take some of the mods off. Oh, no, 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 this was a different weapon. Uh, I can't remember what this was now. I, I missed that. Um, but yeah, you see this this weapon has infinite rounds, it just has like an um like a charge ability. So it has a it has a cooldown when it fires. One thing that I that I struggled with a little bit on this is the jump jets. Um, you know, it takes some getting used to to get the the jump jets um, right. We're trying to capture the spawn point. There we go. <laughs> Got bushwhacked. I think for the um, for the for the betas, they're not worrying too much about uh, you know matchmaking and evening out all the sides. Um, they're concentrating more on you know picking up problems in the gameplay. I'm sure they're watching the servers very closely. Um, or server. I don't know how many servers they they're running. So I have the light mech with the knight that captures faster, and then all the speed mods on. Right, I think this is where I take the. This is where I take the the, the double rocket launchers. So I have to get rid of some of the mods here. Sure. Go for cheaper Just, mods. Uh, helps me with, uh, so you got to kind of do that balance on your on your loadout. Um, balance for what you want. Here I wasn't trying for anything specific that other than to just test out different the weapons. They said it was going to end in three hours, but it went four. They just didn't turn it off until everybody was pretty much off the server. Yeah, they'll let it go like an extra hour. So now I can actually take the double well, not yet. I still need to swap out some stuff. That mod there, the double agent mod, allows me to use base facilities on a captured base. Base acquired. There we go. Double rocket launcher. Double rocket launcher, double automatic cannon. Yeah, so I captured S5, S6, C, and S5. I was able to do some serious damage with this. The, um, the game AI voice uh, reminds me of the Subnautica one. I don't know if it is exactly that one, but. Um, you know, that pad, that lit up pad you see in front of me there, that's a, a turbocharged pad. It um, boosts your jump jet, your skim jets, refills them quickly as well. Um, they also teleporter pads um, that you can find. They um, will teleport you from one base to another. They get a turbocharge. There you go, the jump jets. Yeah, 
there's somebody up here. Marksman in S2. There we go. Nice takedown. So, so um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and I, I hope I've uh, piqued your interest in this game. I really enjoyed the time playing the game, and I'll be doing more videos on further bases. Um, to the developers, I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. Uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Um, I think the game is just going to get better. And um, yeah, this was a really fun, really fun uh, two hours. I really enjoyed it. Bad move, buddy. That turret uh, that I just deployed there right up close to the generator, I actually meant to deploy it behind me, but I forgot to press the button for that. There's a teleport pad over there. That goes to A. But still I didn't want to go to A right now. I avoided it. Base lost. And I jump jetted right into the wall. <laughs> There were some frame rate issues uh, here and there, but for the most part it was pretty smooth. So this was Galahad 3039. Um, links to the game will be links to the Steam page, the, the store page on Steam. 
will be down in the, in the description um, as well as a link to the Galahad uh, Discord and my Discord and um, yeah, please uh, tell me what you thought of the game um, by all means put the game on your on your wish list uh, check it out and uh, let's uh, let's support the developers in any way we can. I think they they're doing a really good job and they're making a really really nice game. Go to my caption, one from my, uh, this is not a it's not a paid promotion or anything like that, by the way. Um, uh, through a little uh, link link campaign, I was able to to get the beta key, and um, so they're not paying me for this or anything to review the game in any way. Base acquired. Target locked. Damage critical. That's that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.